yellow-legged gulls also adapt their behaviour to feed on a swarm. As 10 million starlings stream into the city to roost, they outnumber the human residents four to one. Each year, these common garden birds of northern Europe take a winter break in the warmer south. Most are young, inexperienced birds. By flocking together, they benefit from each other's knowledge. For the gulls, it's like chasing fish shoals in the sky. They act like fish shoals too, forever changing shape and reforming. The gull attacks, trying to split the flock. The flock regroups. The starling's manoeuvres are too quick for a single predator. The gulls try to turn the odds in their favour by working as a team. Together, they corral the starlings and try to split the flock. But the flock grows more powerful by the minute. As more birds join, they gain strength in numbers. A peregrine falcon is a greater challenge. It reaches 220 miles per hour in a dive. The starlings snap together in close formation. They become a blockade of birds. The peregrine risks serious injury if it attacks now. The flock is like quicksilver, forever splitting and reforming to confuse their attackers. It's impossible to target a single bird. Like other swarms, birds create this distracting display by watching their companions. Amazingly, each starling tracks the movements of seven of its neighbours at a time. By monitoring these seven birds and keeping in formation with them, each individual helps keep the swarm as a cohesive force. All this happens ten times faster than a human can think. We are only just discovering how much information is exchanged when birds gather in huge numbers.